So recently there was a, another trailer for that stupid Gotham prequel bullcrap trailer, TV show, whatever. And the more I see this stupid trailer, the more I hate it. And the more I hate the concept. It's just so freaking stupid. Who the hell is going to watch a freaking Gotham show without Batman? It's going to be on a freaking cop show. How many cops were on TV? You got CSI. Well, there was 24. I think it's back now. But freaking 12-year-old Cavill and freaking 5-year-old Bruce Wayne. No. 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 This no. Like, I'm all for, like, different stuff or whatever, but I draw a line when you make a freaking 10-year-old Batman. No. No. If it was based on year one, I might be down for it. Because Batman's in it, but it is a Jim Gordon story. Jim Gordon story, but Batman in it? Yeah, big difference there. This is freaking some boring ass cops and no Batman. Death. And yet they'll have like just about every freaking villain that Batman fights in there before Batman, which makes no damn sense. It's freaking retarded. This is gonna be like worse than Smallville. I mean, I know people, everyone refers to Smallville when they talk about this stupid show, but it's freaking true. This is exactly what Smallville did. They had freaking Doomsday, Brainiac, um, almost had Dark Scientist. Man, you know, they screwed up Dark Eye so bad. Yeah, everybody that Superman fights before Clark Kent becomes Superman. And it was a bloody failure. It was a bloody mess. The only character, only villain they got right was Lex Luthor. That's it. And honestly, I think he was my, one of my favorite characters on the show. Next to Clark, of course. But he's the only one, only villain they got right. Everyone else is a bloody mess. I mean, they tried to put Mitchell Pitalik in there. And, uh, Five wire parasite, but it was, it was horrible. And that's why I didn't like that Suicide Squad episode in Arrow because they're mining a small level so much. Like, oh god, this is horrible. <laughs> and the same as a formula, too. Not, not just because it was on the CW, the same as that channel small it was, at least in the later seasons. Just keep watching this stupid coffin trailer. I'm trying to like lighten up, but I just can't, man. I'm just too big of a Batman fan. To just be like, like, oh, I'm watching. No, I'm not watching this shit. <laughs> Waste my time, man. I think Snuggle will talk me what I want to see on TV and what I don't want to see. And that show got freaking 10 seasons. Still don't know how that happened, but. They got 10 seasons, so something was working. <laughs> but there's no one, I ain't gonna sit around and wait for Bruce Wayne to grow up and shit. No, they could just do it from the freaking beginning. Show his parents murdered and do a flash forward or something. And then start the show. That's what I would freaking do. No, they're gonna do the boring ass with like, oh. Before Batman, there was a goth, there was a boring ass city. With no awesome superheroes, but the awesome car and cool sidekicks. In other words, before before Batman, there was no story that I give a damn about. That's basically what they're saying. Before Batman, before Catwoman, there was no story that I give a shit about. That's pretty much true, because I don't give a damn about the story. This show really. They couldn't make a Batman show. Come on, man. Get Green Arrow right there on freaking CW. That, the show is kicking someone's butt right now. And they got Flash coming in the fall. It looks freaking awesome. Yeah, how can you not make a Batman show? Isn't that hard? I mean, granted, you probably need a pretty decent budget. I mean, if they could do Green Arrow, you can do freaking Batman. I mean, come on. This ain't right, man. And sure, it's getting a lot of views because it's got Batman characters in it. It's probably the only damn reason. But 
Man, man, I watched it a couple of times, but it doesn't mean I'm going to watch the actual show. Maybe a little, little bit of me is curious. Maybe a little bit. But it kind of lost me when they showed the freaking before Batman all stupid type of cards and crap. Little ass Poison Ivy. Math? <laughs> Fire up Poison Ivy. Two year old cat woman. Moving around in the daytime. I thought cat boys go out at night so no one sees them. Otherwise, not much of a burglar, are you? <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and write in there, by the way. <laughs> yeah, can't wait to watch this show. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait till Fox cancels it. Then I'll be the first one to come online and make a video saying, told you so. Fox cancels everything, so you purists out there that are all excited about this stupid show, just expect this to be canceled because everything on Fox gets canceled eventually. It's gonna happen, so I'll just accept it now. <laughs> I have. <laughs> If they confirm the Joker, how they can have the freaking Joker on the show for Batman? Whose origin is tied to Batman? How you gonna have the freaking Joker on there before Batman? Edward Nigma, fine. Penguin, alright, fine. Those two I can actually see being there before, but. Doesn't mean Batman, Bruce Wayne, has to be freaking five years old. Could at least start him in his teens or something. Could have his parents murdered him being like flashback or something. Come on, man. I don't see no baby Bruce Wayne. He's the main damn character. All this BS about Jim Gordon being on his, like his father's figure. It's Alfred's job, man. Give out the picture. It's freaking Alfred's job. I'm trying to make Jim Gordon a specialized dude. He doesn't do shit in the damn comics, man. He doesn't do shit. The only thing he does is flash the big ass signal in the sky when, to get Batman's attention so he can go talk to him about stuff and the crime and stuff. He doesn't do anything else. Nothing. Yeah, your one was good, but I didn't watch for his ass. I was freaking Batman. Hence the title Batman Year One. Not freaking Jim Gordon Year One. There's a big freaking difference there, in case you didn't notice. Man, this has been bothering me for like the past freaking week. So I got a lot of emotions to get out on this, man. Like, gosh. Like, I don't see how people can get excited about this. I grew up on the animated series, so I'm a big happy Batman fan, you know? Still got my you know, Batman pill cases or whatever. Which is the alarm in the room. Batman, Robin, Capes, the guy from Six Flags. So, yeah, I'm a pretty big fan. Got all the movies. Well, the good ones anyway. <laughs> but this. Gosh. I would say that I will watch one episode, and that would probably be the pilot. If it's on, if I'm up or whatever, if I'm not working, I'll probably tape it or something. But I wouldn't make any kind of taste that I'll watch it because I just don't like the concept at all. My God, it's always been corrupt. There's always been crime. It's never going to change. And there's still so ain't nothing Jim Gordon's going to do to change that. And what would be the purpose of that? about one detective, one mission. Like, Jim Gordon doesn't do anything to save the damn city. It's Batman's job. Why else would Alan with Batman come to Gotham not to save it? That's his mission, not Jim freaking Gordon. Sure, he likes the city too. He loses it or whatever, but Batman is the only one I really care about.
course, everyone entitled to their opinion. I respect yours. I hope you respect mine. They released the show now. It was on TV. Maybe I felt like walking by it in the living room or something like sit down for a minute, see what it's about. I feel like it's gonna be one of them shows that if I sit down and watch and turn to get like two or three minutes, I'll be gone because it just sounds very really stupid. Man. Before Batman, if we get, get the F out of here. I don't give a damn about anyone but Batman in this freaking universe. In the Gotham universe, Gotham City, it's Batman City, alright? Let's, let's get that straight. It's Batman City, alright? I don't play Arkham City to play as Jim Freaking Gordon. I don't freaking watch the Dark Knight movies to watch Jim Freaking Gordon, alright? The freaking Batman movies, the freaking Batman game. Not Jim Gordon games. Give it the freaking picture. And then about nothing for my rant. Trust me, I'll be plenty more of those coming. I mean, heaven forbid I actually watch the show. I mean, if I watch the pilot, I'll do a little review or whatever, I'll share my thoughts, but. Other than that, I am watching a stupid show. It's just not gonna happen. 